So you guys, it's Mike back with another video. I um, wanted to show off another binder tonight. Um, this is actually going to be a football binder. going to be my favorite football team, and that's the New York Jets. Been a big fan of the Jets since the 1980 season. Um, didn't know at the time that I would suffer more heartbreak with this team than I have with any other team that I've been a fan of, and that's including the Islanders and the Knicks. So let's get started. This is a big binder. This is all the tops cards that I have. Um, flagship, I should say. Um, of the Jets in this binder. So let's start it off with this 1964 Clyde Washington. It's the oldest Jets card that I do own. Don't have any New York Titans cards. I'd love to get a couple of those. And here's a 1966 Sam LaDuca. 67 Ralph Baker, Sam LaDuca. 1968 George Sauer, Cornell Gooden, Ralph Baker, and Al Atkinson. 269s. Jim Turner was the, kick, the the kicker on the team, and of course the Hall of Famer Don Maynard. 1970. 1971 Jets. Jerry Philbin was like the man on that team on that defense. He was a sack machine and a half. There goes a game card. I do have a Joe Namath game card of this, um, but it's with the Namath stuff. I don't have a lot of Namaths. That's why I haven't shown off the Namaths just yet. Here's 72. I do have a, a uh, Joe Namath 72 card, but it's also in the Namath binder. John Riggins in action, man. Riggins is the man. I wish I wish Riggins would have stayed as a Jet, but apparently Steve, uh, we and Steve, we Bank pissed him off, and that's why he didn't stay a Jet. Emerson Boozer, Winston Hill. We just lost Winston Hill too. Should be a Hall of Famer that guy. I love how these old football cards weren't allowed to put the uh, logos on the team helmets Richard Castor I've seen film of Richard Castor actually it's wrong that's this set over here I've seen film of Richard Castor man Richard Castor was a pretty darn good tight end at one point I think they put him as a wide receiver but moved him over to tight end He's still not using the logos on the helmets. I wonder when, the, when they started using the logos on the helmets. When I first got this card, I actually thought it was a t it was a Wonder Bread card. And it turns out it's well, it is a Wonder Bread card, but hmm, okay. Shut me mouth. Seventy-seven tops. This is seventy-seven over here. Seventy-eight. It's the last season where they're wearing the old school unis because next season they would start wearing the old green uniforms. It's the seventy-nine tops. Wesley Walker, man, one of my favorite all time Jets. Richard Todd. At this point, he might have been one of the few leftovers, if any other ones, left from the 68 Jets team. Greg Bottle, now working, doing um, color commentating for the Jets. Or working the studio, actually. Marvin Powell, love me some Marvin Powell. 1980 Jets cards.
Just great battle again, Richard Todd. Here's the 81 set. This was the first set I started collecting when I was a kid. Mark Gastineau, one of my all-time favorite Jets. Actually, he was the guy that got me into the Jets. I remember watch, flipping channels and seeing him sack somebody. And he would just go into that Gastineau sack dance. And from the moment I saw that, I was hooked. Marty Lyons, that's the other, that's the Jets comment, the color commentator on the radio, is Marty Lyons. Freeman McNeil, man, I love me some Freeman McNeil. Joe Klecko, that's a crying shame that guy's not in the Hall of Fame. All star at three different positions. How do you not make the Hall of Fame? I don't know who he ticked off for that to happen. Wesley Walker. Freeman McNeil. Pat Lee. He, man, he was a pretty decent kicker back in the day. Love this set. The black with the black borders. And Mel. Clucko. Marvin Powell. Pat Ryan. I remember Pat Ryan actually started in the AFC, uh, uh, playoff game. Sat Kenny O'Brien down, I think. And this is the candy stripe ones. I guess they call them the candy stripes or the candy canes. Dave Jennings. Sure. Marvin Powell. I love these 1,000 yard club cards. Gastonel is in action there. I guess that was their version of the in-action cards. Mickey Scholler, another great tight end the Jets had back in the day. Al Toon, loved Al Toon. Kenny O'Brien. I remember when I, I met Kenny O'Brien a couple years ago at MetLife and told him how excited I got from when he uh, beat up on the Dolphins, when he beat the Dolphins in that shootout. I remember actually hitting my head on my friend's ceiling when I jumped up at the final touchdown. Jets had some pretty good teams in the 80s. Obviously, the 82 team could have made the Super Bowl had, it not, had they not played in the Mud Bowl and let but that Miami drench the field. Um, and the 85-86 Jets should have made the Super Bowl also, but... Mark Gastineau actually, unfortunately, took a penalty on a late hit on Bernie Kosar in the ALDS. I'm sorry, ALDS. The AFC, the uh, American Fo the American Football Conference divisional round, when he uh, sacked Bernie Kosar late after he'd thrown the ball, and cost the Jets there because from there they had another shot, and Kosar scored a tying touchdown, and then. Um, in the OT, they uh, kicked the field goal to beat the Jets, which then they went on to play Cleveland. I mean, the Denver, and the Jets owned Denver that year, and we could have beaten Denver in the in the AFC Championship game, and then went on to play the Giants in the Super Bowl. That would have been if the Jets and the Giants had played in the Super Bowl back in the day. This town would have gone on its ear. R.I.P. Man. James Hasty, another great Jet player. Lagerman, I love Lagerman. Jim Sweeney was a damn good center. It's in the 1990s, by the way. I know I haven't been, I haven't really been uh, giving out the years. Here's the 91s. I actually still think the early 80s, the 80s sets are my favorite football cards.
Oh, these are pretty nice ones too. I kind of like these. Jeff Criswell, man, pretty decent tackle back in the day. Ninety twos. And a more simpler design. Louis Aguiar. Forever to Louis Aguiar. Mervyn Washington was awesome. So was Kyle Clifton. Threes. Oh, this is these are the gold ones. I have two only two gold ones in the set. Here are the ninety threes. And this is where the team wasn't as good as they they were back in the eighties. Laird Marshall, former Giant. Love that team leader card. That is pretty sick. And some golds. Ninety four. Look at that shine on that boomer. Aaron Glenn rookie. Ryan Yarbrough rookie. Here ninety fives. These kind of look like the baseball sets. Mo Lewis was the man. Loved Mo Lewis. If anybody should be in, like, I don't even know. I, I wonder if my, Mo Lewis is in the ring of uh, the ring of fame or the ring of fire, whatever they call it, for the Jets. One thousand yard club. Rob Moore. Two this like these rookie cards for Kyle Brady and Matt O'Dyer. And for Hugh Douglas, 96. Ninety-seven. And these are the last year that they used. No, actually, no. This was the last year you see the Jets in these all green uniforms before they went back to the classics. And I, I miss these uniforms. I'd like to see the Jets use these uniforms as throwbacks, but keep these uniforms as their main uniforms. One of my all-time favorite Jets, Wayne Corbett. When the Jets were starting to go back up. Curtis Martin, who I PC. Love Curtis Martin. That's a badass card. I love that card. Vinny Testaverde. Aaron Glenn's another great jet. Ray Lucas, man. Lucas is, works in studio for SNY. Love listening to his commentating when he talks about the Jets, especially when he gets ticked off. That's hilarious. So the 2001 tops. Vernius Coles, Testaverde, Anthony Beck. I thought Anthony Beck was going to be a lot better than he turned out. Mont Jordan, that's another one I got. Another one I thought that was going to be a lot better than he turned out. And he had one decent season after he left the Jets. And went, I think he went to the Raiders, if I'm not mistaken, and had a good year, and that was it. Jonathan Vilma, man. I thought Vilma was, put, was really good with the Jets until he got involved in that. Stupid scandal and head hunting after Brett, uh, Brett Favre. Chad Pennington's another one of my all time favorite Jets. And I PC him as well. Sean Ellis was another one I loved. Justin McCarron's. I think we gave up a second round draft pick to get him. He did okay. He wasn't great. Jericho Cotri. I love Jericho Cotri. I wish he would have stayed with the Jets. Justin Miller was a bomb. So was Dwayne Robertson. Doug Jolly was a waste of a trade. Jay Fiedler. <laughs> so 
I might love me some Joe Willie. I never got to see Joe Willie play, but I still collect them. I think as a Jets fan, you kind of got to. Because he's still, after all these years, he's still the face of the New York Jets. I'm trying to speed this up a little bit before I run out of time. I'd like to keep this under the 20-minute mark if I can. And these are the little black ones, just like baseball. Thomas Jones, man. Thomas Jones is a beast when he was with the Jets. David Harris is still with us, man. I still, I still love David Harris. Leon Washington, man. He was great when he was with the Jets, too, before he got injured. And we let him go to Seattle. Brandon Dawson was another bust. Here are the golds, the gold parallel from that set. Kellen Clemens. Supposed to be the next one, but that never happened. Nick Mangold, man. Gonna we'll always love Nick Mangold. I actually like the Titan uniform jerseys. I need to get me a Titan jersey. I'm actually kind of shocked that I don't have, unless they did it, unless they didn't come out with a Brett Favre tops card, they had to have. I'm gonna have to look into that. That's a nice card. Yeah, gold and old pro. Gold border ones. That's a nice looking Darrell Revis card with the Titan uniforms. So the Mark Sanchez one too. I have, looks like a little bit of a rainbow here. I got the pink border, gold border, and the regular card. The Damon and Tomlinson. He did decent. He was decent with the Jets. He wasn't great like he was with the Chargers, but he he helped out. Santonio Holmes, who was in Braylon Edwards. That was a pretty decent twosome right there, receiving-wise, for the Jets. The Jets were... And back in the went to back to back AFC championship games, but couldn't pull, finish the job. That's why I always like Rex Ryan. I don't care anybody else, anybody says. I think Rex though, maybe should have taken an offensive coordinator that and just handed him the reins. Love the camo cards. D. Milner, bust. Sheldon Richardson, man. That guy would just behave himself. He'd be such a great player. Mo Wilkerson, the anchor of our defense. And I do like Leonard Marshall a lot too. There's a pink, there's a pink border. Gold borders. Camo. Jason Morrow, bust. Taj Board never even got to play a snap with the Jets. Ed Reed. I forget we had Ed Reed. Chris Johnson. Calvin Pryor. Still, I think, trying to find his way with the Jets. Love me some Eric Decker. I hope they don't cut Eric Decker. I mean, I'd understand it if they did, but I just hope they don't do it. Nice-looking Decker card there. Both of these cards... And I think this is it. Ryan Fitzpatrick, Geno Smith, Bryce Petty. I think they should give Bryce Petty a chance and let him start this year. Chris Ivory. Well, that's it, guys. Those are my New York, Tops New York Jets cards. All the way from the last year that Tops printed football cards. Um... So let me know what you guys think of the video. If you stayed till the end, I thank you so much for that. Congratulations. I hope you like the cards. I um, hope you like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have and you haven't subscribed just yet. Uh, please do so to get more baseball, football, hockey, bobbleheads, 
superhero content at some point. Um, just give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe and just do so. Please, and I thank you very much for your time. Have a great night.